And I also have a huge passion for food. I love eating. Um, and I love preparing food and eating. <laughs> um, and I'm also around vegan since four years. So it wasn't always perfect, but I learned over the, the years. I was ate whatever I want, but it kind of um, went into that I was then more SOS free, so no salt, more oil, no sugar. It was just naturally that I craved more the natural foods. Um, yeah, if you have questions anytime, you can just ask. Um, all right, so today we have actually a food demonstration class. So we do oatmeal and cereal, and I always like to eat a lot of food, so you don't even see the oatmeal very much here, but I make oatmeal here. <laughs> That's um, actually your goal? That's my goal, yeah. Well, it wasn't that big, but it was, it was that big, yeah. I eat a lot of food. Usually I start my day um, around noon, I mean, I only eat foods pretty much. I don't eat that heavy, um, like I don't start with oats usually. But well, um, so, but I don't want to miss out on oatmeal. I mean, oatmeal is usually cooked. I don't want to miss out on the benefits of oats. Um, but usually, I mean, you can't really eat them raw. Those are natural oats, the oat roads. roads. Yeah, this is how they grow. And well, this is a special variety also, usually, they have a hole, and to remove the hole, they, they use heat for the oats, so they heat treat them, it's not raw. And I like to eat everything raw with the enzymes and the living food. Um, so you have, I buy oat broad, so yeah, that's a special kind of oat broad. That's a special kind of right eaten. Um, so the regular oats that you have, they have to heat treat them, they remove the hole, and then they um, make them flat, like they roll oh, I them. Just meant that's not, I buy oat groats myself, so that just is regular oat groats. It's not a special kind um, of oat groat. It is also a special kind because the regular ones have the hole that needs okay. to be removed by heat. Okay. Those is a special um, variety, so um, and they are able to sprout because they don't they, they don't come with a hole in the first place. Okay. Okay. Hi, come on in. So they sprout. Actually, those are sprouted oats. So, but this is a sproutable variety, as I said. So normal regular oats come with a hole. They need to be okay. heat treated to remove the hole, and then they don't sprout anymore because they got heated. So nobody, they're dead. They killed them. <laughs> What's the name of the company you get your oats from? Uh huh. I'm talking about that oh, too. Okay. So this is um, from Sprout People, and they really sprout really well. Here I got them from Amazon, but. They stop doing that, so it's really you have to look for. Maybe you want to try a different brand, but um, they need to say it's the wholeless variety, sproutable variety, naked oats. They're called or wholeless oats, and they need to say they sprout. If you order them and they don't sprout, you just complain and you get the money back. <laughs> so I don't want to miss out on oats, so I sprout them. They're high in silica, calcium, iron, zinc all essential amino acids, and they have really beneficial fiber for uh, gut health, and they are high in minerals, too. Um, and the sproutable seeds I get from sproutpeople.org, and here you see the amino acid profile, so they have all the essential amino acids in their recommended ratio, if you care about their recommended ratio that they tell you. <laughs> But definitely they have all essential amino acids. They even have 13 grams per 100 grams, so that's the dry weight, I think. I, don't, I didn't find anything about sprouted oats. The amino acid profile will change a little bit when they sprout, but they also get more vitamin C. You sprout them and a lot of active enzymes, which makes them even more digestible. Also, they lose the anti-nutrients that you might have heard of, the phytic acid and the Actually, all the substances that keep them from spoiling here, that's why they keep themselves um, nice, the natural preservatives of the oats. And you might get, sometimes you get problems with digestion if you have that. So if you soak them in water um, and sprout them, then they lose that. Then I also have buckwheat. I think this is for oats, I'm sorry, I, this is a mistake. So the soluble fiber, better glucans is in oats, I'm pretty sure. I, I think I mixed it up with buckwheat. And I also have buckwheat, 
Have you heard of buckwheat? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have buckwheat growth again with the oats. You can't really eat this. You have to make it flour or some somehow process it to eat it. But you can also sprout it. So they also like oats are high in minerals, calcium, iron, zinc, selenium. Um, they have also all essential amino acids, pretty much. And um, I think this is true for the oats. And then I also have tiger nuts. Have you heard of tiger nuts? Yes. Oh, really? Wow, so many people. I love tiger nuts. They are actually not a nut. Um, they are a tuber, like a potato. And um, so the, the scientific name is Cyperus esculentus. And, but they're also in, in Spain, they're called chufas. And they make a, a milk out of them called horchata. Yeah. And they're made of um, tiger nuts. They also add sugar, I think, but I'm not sure. Oh, yes. Um, so they're very high in resistant starch. I forgot my package, so I don't have them dry here, but I have them here. Do you so sprout those as well? I do sprout them as well, yeah. Well, not really sprout it. You could. You soak them or something? I definitely soak them. So those are soaked one day in water, and those are sprouted pretty much. They still don't have really roots, but um, they kind of start getting roots then. You can also plant them. So that's actually a, a plant in the sedge family. Um, so they're like grass, and they have these little tubers here. What family? Sedge. Um, it's in there. S-E-D-G-E. -E. Oh, okay. Sedge. What do they taste like? And they do taste sweet. They're a little bit gritty. Some people might not like that grittiness, um, especially if they're dry. If they get soaked, they're less gritty, but they're still chewy and gritty, but they're sweet. So they once they're soaked, they're softer than when they're... A little bit, little but bit. not really, really soft. So they're still a little bit gritty. Especially if you buy them whole, there are um, varieties where they peel them, but then they're not really alive, then they're also a little bit more peeled. Do you mm -hmm. get those from the spot people too? No, I get those. Um, right yeah, they're very high in vitamin E, which you don't get if you don't eat a lot of nuts and seeds. Mm -hmm. Then you might be low in vitamin E. I'm not sure about that, but um, I mean, red dove peppers have vitamin E, but not as much as sunflower seeds, but they have vitamin E and they really are high in resistant starch, which improves very much digestion. So I feel that if I eat them, I really feel great eating them. And, and where do you get them? Oh, I'll get them from here. Those are, this is, as far as I know, the best variety to get whole um, raw tiger nuts and also sprouted them one day. I, I planted them and they really sprouted and grew. And where do you buy that? Um, I bought I bought this. So you can get it from Amazon, but you buy um, you pay a lot of shipping for this. So I went actually on their website from Gemini, um, and I ordered it directly from from them. So when you eat them, you just soak them, and then you eat them, or you don't. Yeah, do yeah to but them. today we make something oh, out okay. of them. So I'll show you what I make with them, and also with the sprouted buckwheat, sprouted oats. Um, yeah, so how you sprout, you first soak in water for five, five to eight hours. Yeah, I have sunflower seeds, actually. You can do that with sunflower seeds, too. But they will expand. So I usually, with oats, I don't put more than one cup in a jar. And the other thing you need is um, you need a mason jar and then uh, a sprouting mat, it's called. And you get this on Amazon, too. Sprouts it. Let's just to come out here. So this is just a... Like the normal lid for the mason jar, just with a strainer instead of a lid. Can you get that in stainless steel? This is stainless steel. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So you say you rust. put one cup, yeah. one cup of oats in there? Um, yes, not more than one cup. This was one, no, this wasn't even one cup, that, that was half a cup. Okay. And it already expanded. So if you put too much in, you'll get in trouble with the uh, space. Do you know what the size of that jar is? It's one quart. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of much water, you just cover them? or do you Yeah, know? just cover them. Um, sometimes you might, you just want to have it covered. Sometimes they expand and then you didn't add too much water. So better too much water than too mm -hmm. little. Um, and then you just soak it overnight or f uh, at least five to eight hours. Then you drain it and then you rinse it 
with fresh water, with filtered water, um, and then you, um, you drain it again, and then you keep it drained for around 12 hours, and then you repeat the drain and rinse again. So every 12 hours or two times per day at least, you should wash your, or rinse your sprouts. For how many, how long, how many successions? Do you Always, or just for a week's time, or two days' time? Um, that depends on your preference, how how far you want them sprouted. Okay. So it really depends on you. Um, those oats, I started on, I think it was Thursday night. I soaked them on water. Or maybe what Wednesday night. Uh, I don't remember. So it, it just depends on the sprout as well. Some sprouts, like sesame sprouts, mm -hmm. they take a long time to sprout. Okay. But definitely you do this procedure and you rinse them two times per day. That's very important, otherwise you can, it can spoil. And then it's, all, it's also helpful to um, keep them upside down so the, the water isn't sitting here on the bottom. I mean, you don't need necessarily that, um, that sprouting lid. You can also just use a strainer and then a jar, and then just, um, oops, <laughs> there was a little bit, but that's what happened. If you just have that and not um, keep them upside down, it will just keep some water here, but you can just rinse it a little this bit more. room temperature. I mean, you just keep them on your counter. Yes, yeah, I keep them on the counter. I don't know if it um, works in the fridge. Do they ever go in the fridge once you start eating them, or do you just, does it ever? Um, yes, if I'm finished, so for this, for example, this is totally finished. This is um, sprouted oats, and they kind of, yesterday they were still very small, but overnight they just grew like, like this. So cool. Um, sprouted oats, they look really great. And this is from the sprout people, really great quality. Could you say once they're sprouted, they're only good for 12 hours, or if you refrigerate um, them, you can keep them longer? Well, or? I'm just saying, so this is definitely um, the, the, yeah, the biggest size I want. I, want. I don't want them to sprout more, so I would keep this in the fridge if I don't use it right away. And how long will it keep in the fridge? In the fridge, or? probably like three days, three days. Most, okay. I would say. You can also rinse them here and then also if they stay in the fridge, but... Um, so while they're, in, while they're in the fridge, you can still rinse them in every day and, and that sort of thing, or no? Um, yes, but you don't have to really. I mean, I had sprouts, I just put them in the fridge and then um, after two days I just used them. So what if you want to keep them like more than two days? Or you maybe use them? I don't think you can. I can pause real quick and say like, why you do this? Like, we have the sunflower seeds mm -hmm. that we usually eat. Yeah. But what's this benefiting? The benefit is you wash away all the natural preservatives of every nuts and seed have natural preser preservatives that keep them from spoiling. And they're not really good for our digestion. So they kill bacteria, um, those chemicals. They're, they're natural. I mean, every seed, just they use it to, um, to just keep them for Millions of years, yeah. right? And then, if, but if you put water on a seed, then those sub substances uh, get washed away, and the seed activates itself and comes to life for you. So enzymes get a get active, um, the vitamins get produced, and it's just really alive. And the other thing, well, the sunflower se seeds you can eat, like um, from from the seed, like right away. But oats you cannot really eat. They are very hard. This, I mean, nobody would like eating this. So I also make them edible more. Um, yeah, does it answer that? Yes. Well, there's like regular oats that are sold in stores that you can only eat once you put water with it. So you don't do this whole process, but you still have to add water to eat it. Mm-hmm. It's oat grows. It's, it's, it's the original. Oh, yeah, you can also yeah soak them in water. They get soft at some point, but I just like them raw because of the, the enzymes, the vitamins intact, are just very natural and yeah. So you may, you may get to this, like, as you move forward, but I'm curious, um, do you just eat them straight out of the jar, or do you, what do you do with them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do something with it. <laughs> you can't eat this straight out of the, out of the jar. Um, if you want to try it, 
I'm just gonna leave here a little bit so you can just try a little bit of these oils like they are. You can mix it with fruits, you can do anything, but um, what we're gonna do, so there was the, the method and um, I'm pretty much done with the theory. But here I just wanna share, I have a few ma um, magazines, well, just two magazines that are uploaded on this website, Yopo, and my future website, but it's not done yet. And then again, the where I get the seeds from, sprouting, sprout, um, sprout people, or. And then, but in general, I just um, keep it simple, usually. Um, if I'm traveling or I don't have time, I can just eat this and this and this by itself and this. I mean, I'm fine with it. I don't need any restaurant. I don't need anyone to prepare my food, not even me preparing my food. I just go to grocery stores and eat the vegetables and fruits as they are. So I lo love to keep it simple. I mean, it's just delicious as it is already. But sometimes you want to have some fun, and so let's just make some fun. So what should we do? Can I ask one question? Yeah. Just clarify. So when you're sprouting, you're really just personal preference as to how many days you do it till it's edible. Is it, are you looking for a sprout or a certain? Definitely, you you can try that. Yeah, just taste it, and at any point you like it, then you can eat it. But there has to be a beginning of the tail, though. Yeah. A little, a, a beginning sure, of the yeah. tail. Like, yeah, that would be pop. great. That'll definitely yeah. be great. So two days, three days, who doesn't really know mm -hmm. how long it takes or something. Like that. Yeah, there was um, two days to three days. Um, some seeds take a little longer. Sesame seeds took a little. But longer, but I actually grew them too big, so they they got very strong in flavor. So maybe you don't want that too big, but it's your preference. Okay. So then, whenever you decide they're ready, then you refrigerate them, and they can stay two or three days after that. Yeah, okay. pretty much. Yeah. But I usually just use them right away. Um, so what I did was oh, and I have also these buckwheat sprouts. They're not very big. Um, so they just started to sprout, and I use them anyway. And also, you always do a smell test, and they smell good. Um, it also tells you if they are spoiled or anything. So just to clarify, they're sprouting dry. I mean, you're not continually keeping water in them. You only have water on the day you soak them. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's I mean, important too, because uh, you don't want to get them too soggy and then dissolve in the water. Okay. So they kind of also so always drain them. Yeah, always drain them. That's why she kept them on that plate yeah, upside yeah. down. Yeah, on the first picture. Sometimes people soak and put them in water again and then drain like your picture. Yeah, this um, is just one time and then repeats and then you leave it like this. Yeah, you, you keep it drained 12 hours and then you just rinse it again. Um, Alright, what do I have? So I have some fruits, I have the sprouted seeds. Um, and I can eat it fresh as an oatmeal, but I also can eat it dry. Um, so I have a dehydrator and sometimes dry my food. So, but we'll make it wet first. I have here some other sprouts, by the way. Um, I just started them yesterday. Those are amaranth sprouts. You can also get them from the sprout beetle. But I'm really excited about those, actually. That's why I brought them. I, haven't, I have never tried them sprouted because they never really sprouted. Usually you buy seeds mm -hmm. and they're heat treated so they won't yeah. sprout. But yeah, this is a really good site to get the sprouts. I'm making advertisement for them. <laughs> okay, let's start with the fresh thing. So what I like to use is my food chopper. It's a little, little tiny food processor. It's called Food Chopper and you get it on Amazon. It's really pretty much a no name brand pump leader, but I don't think they have that anymore. They always change the name. It's pretty much the same. Um, you get it anywhere, I think. I got it from Amazon. And um, yeah, we just used all sprouts, um, sprouts, oat sprouts, and put it in our chopper. Maybe let, let me start with the tiger nuts. So here I have tiger nuts that I soaked was sprouted for longer days, maybe like three days. And these are just soaked at night, so you see they're, they're more plump, they're more dry. 
Um, but I still can use them, even after one. one day. I don't really sprout them, I just soak them. But I want to make a more like a powder. But actually, you can also try them, tie them as an unprocessed.
Yeah, it has more volume, so it depends how. Yeah. But it really is, it's not that important. I mean, um, you don't have to have. You'll eat that entire thing? Um, I don't know. Maybe if I feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet. Maybe I'll put some apple in there and just chop it off. Or, but I can only do one, one thing, I guess. Oh, yeah, why not? Usually, um, I use raisins for sure. Raisins are really great in there, but you don't have to use raisins. So you can make it in so many ways. I can only, I can, I can do it every way that you could possibly do. But if you don't like raisins, so you decide: should I use raisins or apple? <laughs> but you're running at the same time. Okay. <laughs> I blend at the same time, yeah, well, but you can use either apples or raisins to make it more sweet, because the oats don't have any sweetness. Then um, the tiger nuts have sweetness, they have a lot of sweetness. So instead of raisins and apples, you can use the tiger nut, or you use the tiger nuts and the raisins, or apple and banana. <laughs> so really it's up to you what you like. I guess the apple's going to give it moisture and make it... Moisture and sweetness. It will also give it like moisture, yes. Just one apple. I usually don't um, go after a recipe. I mean, it's nice to see a recipe to get the idea, but then you really have to... Or you don't have to, but it's nice to just experiment with it and then um, create your own style of it. After your taste, I mean, everyone has different tastes. Okay, yeah, just chopped it off. It's still a little bit. Also, you can blend it more if you want to kind of blend it more or if you want to less. You can eat it like that. Um, you can also add some buckwheat. So that picture you showed of your breakfast bowl, it looked a little moister or... Yes, I think I used bananas in there, too. Okay. You can... Do you ever add, like, a nut milk to it? Um, well, I don't do a lot of nuts and sweets. Well, I do. Sometimes, but um, you could, you could do that too. But I actually gonna make a different um, milk. I'm just gonna try the. I'll give you. Very soft, and you can try them, um, eat them as they are. That was the buckwheat? Mm -hmm. This is sprouted buckwheat. I didn't sprout that that long, like the, the oats. I think that's fine. Yeah, you can leave the buckwheat out, and you can do it. In a different way, you can add banana, you can add raisins. Um, what's a good brand for your raisins? I eat up the raisins from here. Do you get them from a certain place or as organic? Yeah, and also make sure that they are oil free. Some yeah. raisins, a lot of raisins have oil. oil. I haven't looked into that uh -uh. a long time because I just use their raisins. <laughs> you can also use dates mm -hmm. instead of that, or any other dried fruits, but I'm just going to put the raisins in here. I have the apple, the oats. You can mix anything you like.
is just putting those fruits and raisins on top of it? Um, it's really up to you how you like it. If you like it that way, I mean, that way then the, the oats and buckwheat are not sweet. So that's pretty much like unsweet. Um, yeah, it's up to your taste pretty much. I'm going to add the tiger nut flour here that I made. It's more like the oatmeal we're used to, too, when you make it mushier. Oh, and yeah, okay, yeah. Like cream, can, it's creamier. You can do that, too. I make more like a muesli right now, probably. And also the moisture is going to find it again. If you put a banana in there, then it'll be more mushier. Or some, or even water if you want to. I never ate ate uh, oatmeal really. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe for six hours, 
or maybe even five hours. And then um, if you can flip them, you flip them and let them dry till the next day. Okay. Sure. Um, I used 120. What brand? I was gonna show that uh, slide, but um, I, I forgot actually. Sorry, but my brand is it's called Super Q. Super Q. I don't know where you can buy it. I bought it on Amazon back then, but I didn't find it on Amazon anymore. It's a stainless steel dehydrator, like a, a box. So would you have you wouldn't have to flip them if you had them on a screen, right? Yeah, but I can put them on the screen right away. Okay. Oh, because it's, it's just uh, so, so moist, you know. You have to put it on the screen first. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna try this here. What's your opinion about frozen fruit? I guess it's all been steamed, or is it all is it Um, some, fruit? yeah, some vegetables are steamed. What about fruit, like cherries or blueberries or whatever? Um, the thing is, I heard that they pretty much lose all the nutrition that they get, that they freeze them. I mean, I do sometimes uh, also do bananas, frozen bananas, but I actually put them with the peel in the freezer, and I kind of like them better. Um, yeah, so you could do frozen fruits, but I would not rely completely on it. I would definitely more look for fresh fruits. So what I would do um, with this dry, you can eat it as cookies, but it's kind of chewy. Um, it's more like a granola. You can just make a cereal with milk and how you used to it, um, how you are used to it, right? And just use some, maybe some other fruits, some strawberries. You can also eat the, the green of the strawberry. It's not toxic, it's like a lettuce. If you don't like it, then don't eat it. <laughs> the strawberries smell good. If you don't have a dehydrator for the cookies, mm -hmm. what do you think about baking it in? You could oven? also try it in your oven, or if you don't mind cooking them, you could probably also bake it. I'm pretty sure that this is, would be tasty, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be raw then. But you could probably dry it in the oven. I did that too. Or if you have a radiator, like my mom has a radiator, um, like a box, mm -hmm. and you just put it on the radiator. Okay. That'll be possible too. Because baking it will kill it, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't kill my food. Yeah. <laughs> well, I chop it, but <laughs> I don't eat kill it. <clears throat> yeah, I want the enzymes to be active. And I don't know. Over the years, I also don't like cooked food anymore. The smell is different and just a little bit fresher. Um, I need a little bit more bananas. I love these little bananas. Because I'm going to make a milk. And I want to put one banana in there. I'm making my breakfast now. <laughs> Maybe a, a little bit pieces of banana in here, strawberries, banana, and then the rest of the bananas put in my blender. How much are we going to make? Maybe a little. Yeah, you can, of course, you can use regular bananas, but I would make sure that you get the spots on the bananas. If you use green bananas, they're not gonna be sweet. So if they shouldn't be too brown, then they kind of um, taste fermented. But these little, when they get, are just starting to get these little spots, they're perfect. I mean, unless you prefer something else, then of course you can do whatever you want. 
but I'm just saying that it will be sweet. And then, so just the bananas and uh, a cup of water. How much is a cup? Maybe like this water. So that we can start with a little bit less and then see what happens. If you just blend the bananas, they will be very thick and creamy and they will keep their color, the yellowish. If you add more water, then they turn into white and more milky. Um, so they kind of look like a milk. Show you a second. They sell banana milk in the stores now. Like just banana and water? Well, I'm sure it's made got some preserve or something. Oh, yeah, I've just, just seen on the show. I buy, I'm not saying buying it, but they do sell it now. Oh, actually, interesting. in cartons. Yeah, the thing is, you cannot store this in your yeah. fridge. It'll turn brown. Maybe if you put a little bit of lemon juice in there, maybe you could. But then it'll also be sour a little bit. Well, 
I think, yeah, I don't, and also you can use the dried apple or granola, or just use this with um, some fruits, you can also add some fruits. And you never use nuts, like pecan, dried pecans, or walnuts, or whatever. For breakfast, usually not. I'm, I'm not um, starting my day with that and heavy seeds. Um, usually I only eat um, fruits and, yeah, pretty much just fruits, watery fruits. That's how I like, but you can eat it off as dessert too. I mean, you can add nuts and seeds if you, if you want to. But I like to start the day like low fat and lighter. Yeah, as I said, I don't even need all the water anymore. That's my first meal. Maybe I have a second breakfast. That will be my second breakfast. <laughs> then the nuts and seeds I love to use for um, salad dressings and at dinner on my second meal. Um, I love having uh, yeah, salad dressings. The seeds and then um, lemon juice. Seeds and lemon juice, that's perfect, perfect dressing. And then herbs and spices, however you want. Those seeds are the mince brown, they're just the, whatever you make your dressing out of. They're Usually not, soaked. Or soaked. Unless um, it's hemp seeds, hemp seeds are, like they remove the whole, so they're not really, you can't really sprout them. And soak them. Yeah, oh, hemp seeds are the only seed that I, that I don't sprout. Sometimes I don't sprout chia seeds and flax seeds, so I just ground them up. But it's also, I think it's better to soak them in water first to activate them. Even without sprouting them? Yeah. Even but without, you're still gonna blend them up afterwards? If, they, if they've been soaked, your flax and your chia, are you still gonna blend? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could still blend it. But as I said, sometimes I just use it um, uh, ground up, just dry. I do that too, too. I mean, I'm not super, super perfect all the time. You know? yeah. <laughs> and you don't have to. I mean, it's just nuts and seeds. You know, nothing is going to happen if you eat it like that. If you're talking about vegetables. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look like you. What's your favorite nut to make with the salad dressing? Uh, I love hemp seeds because it's easy and I have to I don't have to think about soaking them. Like yeah. the only seed I don't really soak. So they're already available. Do but, they come hold or unhold? Oh uh, yeah, uh, I use the unhold the pulled one without the hole. If you if they have a really, really tough hole, so I really don't like them. I don't know how people can eat the hole. It's very tough. Do you make your own milks, like with almonds or um, Yeah, I'll open that. Hemp. I guess you make hemp milk as well. Okay. Hmm? You said water the hemp and make milk too? Yeah, you can just also just use the hemp. I don't like to uh, put too much effort and because the nut milks, you have to um, strain. strain them through the nut bag. And well, it's kind of nice because that residue you can also use for your cereals. Yeah. And that's kind of nice too. You can also do that. I interrupted you about your um, hemp uh, dressing. Oh yeah, the hemp dressing. Yeah, I would use hemp with hemp. Hemp, so I would just the hemp seeds and um, lemon juice, and then maybe a cucumber. I love to dilute my dressing with watery vegetables like cucumber or tomatoes or something to um, instead of water because water if you don't use salt will just um, keep away uh, take away the, the taste and then um, I blend this very creamy celery is always good too if you don't use salt celery gives a lot, a lot nice flavor um, sunflower seeds sunflower seeds are also great yeah. but I soak them first yeah. For dressing, that's great too. And cashews. I don't really use cashews a lot because okay. in the process they also have to heat treat them usually. Okay. Um, I stopped using cashews, but yeah, cashews are really really creamy. Cashews mm -hmm. are the creamiest nuts ever. Um, and yeah, you, but you can use almonds. I like for nut cheeses more. 
and then or uh, pumpkin seeds. Yeah. A great for dressing. So you use um, if you're going to make nut cheese, you'll use cashews primarily. If you're going to do that, uh, almond. almond. You'll use almonds. Yeah, for nut cheese, I would use almonds. Walnuts are great too. Walnut dressing is good too. So that's the the wet kind of muesli, granola, or cereal. This is insane. How dark this is! This is horrible. <laughs> it's just oxidized. Yeah, I, mean, I know, it's but it's so fast. Heart. Mean. Oh yeah, they say if it turns brown, if it turns brown, they have more antioxidants. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's just <laughs> the air it just oxidizes. But usually it's those, <laughs> the regular bananas don't turn that fast brown. So I never had that that fast. Don't be mean to the banana. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still drink it. Sure it's still great. <laughs> you have to love it. You're putting it in your body. <laughs> Not so mm, just delicious. for the presentation. It's, <laughs> Can you tell them fasting? Yeah, everything looks good. Our raw milk. Yeah, well, um, so the cashews, <clears throat> it's actually a fruit, and the, the cashew is a hole underneath the fruit. And it's the the fruit is in the family of poison ivy, too. Oh. And then they have the same toxins uh, around the seed. So either the heat, Heat it to get rid of the toxin, or they have to peel it with by hand. I mean, it's really complicated to peel it, and um, it's just not. It's really complicated. So I was wondering if it's so complicated to eat this nut, maybe you're not supposed to eat the nut. <laughs> so I stopped eating it. I never had problems with eating cashews. I love them, but yeah, it was just too complicated in the process. So I think I don't know. Do you use um, almonds that have no skins? Um, no. They usually are also blanched okay, yeah. and they use heat. Okay. You can blanch them too, well not blanching, but you can remove the um, the cover, the cover skin. thing, the skin, by just soaking them in water overnight yeah. or maybe 12 hours, maybe a little bit longer for the, for the almonds so it's easier and then you just yeah. press them and it will come up. Okay. It's really nice to make really white cheese, nut cheeses. Yeah. Um, so do you eat the skin or not eat the skin? I do eat the skin actually. I'm too lazy to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> but I soak them and I think that's fine yeah. also. I don't know. Almonds are all pasteurized now in the United yeah. States. And so I've heard that, yeah. I get unless my you buy them from a farmer's market. Farmer's market, yeah. yeah. And it's great to go to the farmer's market in California. I love it. They have walnuts, they have almonds. And then they they say it's not treated, it's just um, peeled and dried. But, um, but yeah, I get pretty much a lot from the farmers market. Um, and then if I don't get it from the farmers market, I try to get it from smaller farms online. And they say they don't eat treated. They're allowed to. They're, they're not allowed to. No, they're allowed to. Oh, in they're small, allowed. Yeah. In a, in oh yeah. See, in quantities they're allowed. That's to great. Yeah. The farm, yeah. But I will know. I mean, especially for sunflower seeds. I get the walnuts and the almonds from the farmer's market and they don't sprout. I mean, they don't sprout without the, the whole, um, so I can't really see if they're truly raw. But the, the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds, if they don't sprout, they will not sprout like a beautiful green without the uh, covering the whole, but they will grow. They will grow a little bit. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. How do you store your almonds or whatever nuts you're going to use that you're not using them? Like, do you just keep them in the package? You I actually keep them in the package, package in the fridge. In the fridge. Yeah. There was some discussion today about whether they should be in the fridge or whether they could be frozen or not. Frozen? Um, probably you could also freeze them. But I think the fridge is fine. Um, so I think if you want to paste something here, um, I can also put these up. Um, I have a question about pieces.